Okay. Um, well, today, again, in our continuing um, efforts to put it all together, um, today we are finding the equation of a line when we're given two points. So yesterday, we did all kinds of things. We found um, the equation of a line with a graph. When we were given a slope and a y-intercept, we were given a table, okay? Um, lots of different things. Well, today, we're getting into two points. We got a lot of information here in the first couple pages that we are going to uh, just kind of go over and talk about. So if you follow along with me on the first two pages of your packet, and then we got some practice problems to do on the third page before uh, I turn you loose for your homework. So it says most people when asked what is the equation of a line will answer y equals mx plus b. This is the equation of a line in what we call it was called slope intercept form, where m is a slope and b is a y intercept. So how do you know how do you find the equation of a line? Again, we've we've done several different ways, and the one we're going to do now, no matter what, we're always trying to find the slope first, okay, which is right here. So no matter what we've done, whether it's a table, whether it's a graph, whether it's two points, we always try to find the slope first, and then we can use the slope to find the y-intercept, right? And then we get, we write our answer as an equation. So as we get into some examples, we're going to we're kind of explain these steps and how they keep looking. So again, there's lots of different ways to do these math problems, but the process is pretty easy. So again, if you're given two points, like you are right here, and this is pretty much just covering the top one, um, this top example. So if you're finding the line that passes through the points negative 1, 2, and 2, 7, right? All right, don't forget, that's our equation, y minus y and x minus x. So in the example, they use 7 first, right? So that's this one right here. So if they use this y, they got to subtract it to this y. So you get the 7 minus a minus 2, that's the plus. And then you got to go back over to here to start with the x's, 2 minus a negative 1. And you got the double negatives. So 7 plus 2 is 9. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. So 9 over 3 is 3, OK? So once you find the slope, okay, step one, now we go step two, we try to find the y-intercept. So again, how did we do that yesterday? Well, going over to here, all right, step two, we're going to take the slope and plug it into the m of y equals mx plus b, right? Okay. Once we do that, now we were given two points, right? We were given the points... Um, negative 1, negative 2, and 2, 7. So we can choose one of those points, and they chose to use these two. So where the y was, we plugged in negative 2, and where x was, we plugged in negative 1, and here was our slope. And we go ahead and solve for b. Well, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So to, again, to get b by itself, I add 3 to both sides. And when I add 3 to both sides, I get b equals 1. So if our y-intercept is 1 and our slope is 3, all right, this, page, this has a few pages, so I'm sorry. Step 3 is we put it into slope-intercept form, y equals 3x plus 1. We're using all of our, all of our steps, and it, and it stays consistent all the way through, all the way through. Okay, so let's try another example okay, as we read through this. Again, we're given two points, negative 2, 5, and 4, negative 3. Okay, so we are first going to find the slope of the line. So again, y minus y, x minus x, right? And again, they decide to use the second point first. So again, it doesn't matter the order. So they did the negative 3 minus 5, that you see right here, okay? And the 4 minus a negative 2. And since we got a double negative here, so I got negative 3 minus 5, that's where the minus 8 is, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So negative 8, 6 can reduce, they're both even numbers, to reduce to negative 4 thirds. So there's our slope by using our little, our little a formula to find it. Now, we've got negative 4 thirds, all right? So we're going to take negative 4 thirds and plug it into m of the y equals mx plus b. Okay. 
once we do that, all right, let me go forward here. Okay, so you can see the four thirds in right here. And now we're going to pick a point, and they picked negative 2, 5. So for y, they replaced it with 5. That's the y coordinate. And for x, they replaced it with negative 2. And there's our slope. So when I multiply negative 4 thirds times negative 2, that's 8 thirds, positive, right? Negative times a negative is a positive, OK? So now I got to take this 8 thirds and move it, all right? So what they decided to do is they said, OK, I'm going to take this whole expression and multiply it by 3. I'm going to multiply 5 times 3, 8, ter 8 thirds times 3, and 3 times b. So 5 times 3 is 15, OK? 3 times 8 thirds is basically 24 thirds, which is 8. And then 3 times b is 3b. So that's how they got rid of the fraction, is they multiplied both sides of the equation by 3, balancing the equation. And now it's just solving for b. All right, I moved 8 over. All right, and I'm going to kind of go off the side here because they skipped some steps. And when I move 8 over, okay, I get 7 equals 3b. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I get b equals 7 thirds. Okay. So our slope is, our y, I'm sorry, our y-intercept is 7 thirds. Our slope was negative 4 thirds. So thus, there is our equation. So again, very similar to what we did with the, with the graphs, with the point, with, the, with, with all the other stuff that we did the day before. But now we're basically just, we're using that y minus y over x minus x. All right, and we're still getting the same answers. All right, so let's go to some practice pages. So if we go to the, basically the third page or the, uh, the second attached page because they're front and back. All right, so right here, all right, we're going to write an equation for the, given the slope and a point. All right, so it says write an equation line that passes to the point 1, 2, and has a slope of 3. So again, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. All right, and for y, we're going to replace it with 2 because here's our coordinate, right, x, y. All right, our slope is 3. Our x is 1. All right. So I get 2 equals 3 plus b. I'm going to rewrite it over here. To solve for b, I'm going to subtract 3 to both sides. So this goes away, and I'm left with b equals negative 1. So I found my b. All right, this point is not the y-intercept, right, because x is not 0. But I have my slope. My slope is 3, so my equation is y equals 3x minus 1. Okay. Now, same thing, we got another point, but now, again, the no zero. So we're going to plug in those points, the point and the slope, to y equals mx plus b. Okay, so I'm going to plug 2 in for y, 4 in for m, and 2 in for x, and solve for b. So I get 2 equals 8 plus b when I multiply 4 times 2. Okay, not a plus. Okay. So to get b by itself, I'm subtracting 8 to both sides. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. That equals b. So our b is negative 6. Our slope is 4. So our equation is y equals 4x minus 6. Not too bad, right? Now they didn't give us a slope. So now we've got, we've got two points. Okay? Write an equation given two points. So we got to use our little formula to find our slope first and since both points they gave us none of the x's are zero we're going to have to plug it in so we got to do a little bit of work here so again for our slope is going to equal y minus y over x minus x so let's just go first let's go negative three minus one so negative three minus one and then two minus a negative two so two minus a negative two so that's a double negative right so that's positive. So negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. And 2 plus 2 is 4. I get negative 4 over 4. All right. So my slope is negative 1. So now, now that I've done that, I'm going to erase this. And I can pick a point. Well, I like this one better because it's got a 1 in it. So we're going to take y equals mx plus b. And we are going to plug in 
our slope, which is negative 1, our x, which is negative 2, and our y, which is 1. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. So I got 1 equals negative 1 times negative 2 is 2 plus b. And to get b all by itself, I subtract 2 to both sides. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So b equals negative 1. So I have my b. All right, I have my slope. So we can write our equation as y equals negative x. We don't have to write negative 1x, right? Minus 1. And there's our equation. All right, so for the last one, what I want you guys to do is 4 and 5. I want you to pause this video, and I want you guys to take about 5 minutes, okay? So with your group, one side of the table work on 4, the other side of the table work on 5, and then in 5 minutes, we're going to go over it. If you need a little bit of time, we'll give you a couple extra. We're going to give you no more than 7 and a half, all right? So I'm going to pause this t video, and then we're going to go over it in just a minute and see how you did. So take this time to pause the video and try to see what you guys can do with the examples above to do four and five, and we'll come together in just a few minutes. Okay, so now that you've had time to do that, let's see how you did. So again, we have two points here, right? So slope equals y minus y over x minus x. So if we go four minus two, right? Four minus two, I gotta go negative three minus one. So 4 minus 2 is 2, negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So negative 2, oh, I'm sorry, 2 over ne negative 4 or negative 2 fourths is negative 1 half as a slope, right? So we found our slope. Now, now that we found our slope, let me shrink this here and get this out of the way. So now we found our slope, I'm going to get rid of this. And I'm going to pick this point since it's a smaller point, smaller numbers. So I'm going to take y equals mx plus b. And I'm going to insert 2 for y, because that's the y. 1's x. All right. 1's x. And uh, our slope is 1 half. Our x is 1 plus b. So I get 1 half times 1 is a half plus b. So if I subtract a half to both sides, right, that goes away. I'm left with b equals 1 and a half, or if I want to write 1.5. Because it doesn't matter if my slope is a decimal. I just got to know it's 1 and a half. Okay? You could also, if you want to write it as a fraction instead of 1 and a half, you could write it as 3 halves. Okay? So when I get my final answer, you can write as y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 halves, or if you wrote 1.5. All right, but if that way you keep it balanced with a fraction, you can write it as an uh, improper fraction. All right, so if you have that, you did it. Good job. Let's see how you did on the other one. All right, again, slope is going to equal y minus y over x minus x. Okay. So negative 13 minus 2, which is negative 15. Negative 8 minus 4, which is negative 12. All right, so we got negative 15 twelfths. We know that a negative over a negative is a positive. And this is reduces, right? What number goes into 15 and 12? Right, 3. So if I do each one by 3, 3 divided by 15 is 5, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So our slope is 5 fourths. Now I'm going to pick a point. I'm going to pick the smallest one, which is this one. And I'm going to plug 2 in for y equals mx plus b, so 5 fourths times 4 plus b. Well, if I take 5 fourths and multiply it by 4, that's 20 over 4, right, which is 5. So this part here reduces to 5. And if I subtract 5 to both sides, I get negative 3 equals b. So my y-intercept is negative 3. So when I plug this all in, my equation is y equals 5 fourths x minus 3. All right. Now, now that you have enough firepower and examples here, you can work on your homework on the back side of this, which is 10 questions. All right. And we will check these um, to, um, the next day in class. So um, go ahead and work on those 1 through 10 problems in the back. And again, I hope you found this lesson helpful. I know.